We thought the Chicago Bulls was close to being 500, and they let everyone down. Can the Bulls do anything to make up for the recent embarrassing play that they have put on display? And Nikola Vucevic, front and center, it's time for some smoke. Y'all know we got to play the music first. Cognac. Yeah. Gang. Yeah. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I am with my dog, C-Dub. How you feeling, boy? Boy, this team, boy, I swear to God, boy, I swear. Come on. Man, if y'all tuned in with us today, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. I know it's difficult, but damn it, go ahead and show some love. C-Dub. The Bulls were so close to being 500 and potentially moving up the ranks. The Bulls <laughs> fell in the ranks, kind of, because they allowed the Atlanta Hawks to gain some ground on them. Now the Atlanta Hawks, the 10th seed, is one and a half game out from being the ninth seed in the Bulls' play-in game that we thought could potentially be played at home might be played on the road. They had an embarrassing loss against the Houston Rockets. They had a challenging loss, uh, some questionables against the Celtics, and then an abysmal letdown and a very, very frustrating loss to the Washington G Leaguers <laughs> and 10 day contractors, <laughs> oh, bro. bro, and two way players the other night. First, what's your initial thoughts on the recent play of the Chicago Bulls, bro? You know, I, I pointed this out uh, uh, like a week and a half ago. I think we was playing the Clippers, and we were playing them tough all the way through three quarters. And in that fourth quarter, they just totally, like, kind of gave up, bro, and gave up and took their pedal off the – took their foot off the gas. And the Clippers went on to win that game in the fourth quarter. It was like the five-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And after that game, uh, we was happy. We got a 3-1 a, a West Coast road trip. But I was like, be careful. Cause, because the way that y'all ended that game was just the Clippers, like, not caring because you, you were satisfied with a 3-1 record on that West Coast trip. It can come back to haunt you because it could be hard to get back to that level of play that you were on for that West Coast trip before you got to the fourth quarter against the Clippers. Now, I've seen those bad habits that I've seen in that fourth quarter uh, come to fruition in these past games that we've seen against the Celtics and against the, um, the Wizards and uh, the, what's the team before? Uh, the Rockets. The Rockets. Uh, I've seen frustrations in all games. Uh, uh, frustrations in all games from you guys on the court. Uh, seeing that uh, Demar getting thrown out, you seen Vooch with multiple occasions having a little spicy attitude. We gonna get to him later, but all those bad habits have come up to haunt haunt you. You are not in a position to coast or take your foot off the gas. You are a mediocre team at best, and you might not even be mediocre because you can't get to five hundred. We was just one game under 500. We just got. What? You talking mm -hmm. to me? No. Oh, we was just one game out of 500. Now we four games out. Atlanta winning games. They catching up. We going to be the 10 seed. Not if it matters any much. I think nine and 10 got to play on the road anyway. But this takes the cake against the Washington G leaguers, bro. Y'all let these fools up like. 21 to 6 in the first quarter. They won the first quarter 31 to 17. Once you give a trash ass team confidence that they can beat you, they gonna beat you. And they got a star over there, I think, in Jordan Poole that could absolutely hurt you. And he hurts you. This is a blismal. I don't know if y'all can get that aura or swag back that y'all had on that West Coast trip. Cause it might be gone and it's all your fault taking your foot off the gas. But it, it's looking bad around here in Chicago, bro. It's looking bad. It's definitely looking bad. I'm annoyed as hell with this team right now. I know I said we had to temper the expectations, but there comes a fine line 
when you just showing a lack of effort. Coming into the game while people watching and cheering on you, the United Center, for some reason, is going fucking crazy like we are top 16. No. Yeah. Ninth seed. You alluded to it. Frustrations all over around for the Chicago Bulls. It's very simple, bro. They, in these games that they lost the last three, they allowed each team to set the tone early. Okay, I can understand it against the Boston Celtics. I really don't understand it against the Houston Rockets. I mean, I can't kind of because who the coach is and some of the players over there, but you the Chicago Bulls with some dogs, quote unquote, on your team as well. Then against the Wizards, you let these guys come out early and set the tone against you. So if you in three straight games, you allow the opposing team to set the tone. What does that say about you as the Chicago Bulls? Soft. Y'all out here. Y'all letting the frustrations build over. They uh, on, on the announcing while you're watching the game. Yeah, they saying that the guys are frustrated with how they've been starting games. Well, fucking fix it. It's that simple. And stop getting so frustrated to the point to where you guys who we believe are high IQ players start doing stupid stuff. You guys are getting ejected from games, getting dumb flagrants, complaining, flailing the arms, and not showing any effort whatsoever defensively. I understand there was some losses with this team. But against most of these teams, or at least two out of the three, your talent matches up. Your talent matches up with the Rockets. Your talent matches up way more. Don't even match up. It's above the Washington Wizards. Yes. And y'all play like trash, bro. It's embarrassing. The only way. The only way you can make up for it is to make the playoffs. Other than that, we know what's coming. Maybe a, 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 a play-in win. And then the play him, get your ass out of here and go home. Mm. It's, it's, that's what it comes down to for me. It ain't much they could do right now. You got 10 games left on the season. I guess the only thing, C-Dub, you could play for right now if you're the Chicago Bulls is pride. Because right now, y'all looking like a bunch of punks. Punks. That's a for sure. That's, that's how sure. I'm looking at them. Yeah. A bunch of punks. Uh, what will remedy? Uh, what will make up for this bullshit we've been seeing for the last uh week and a half? I need an eight and two record from the last last ten games, bro. That'll put us over uh five hundred for the season by a couple games. Uh, and I think that can get the 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 fans and us back on your bandwagon to see what you could do in a play in tournament. But from now, we have no expectations right now. We even kill, like my nephew say right now. Me, me, even me, C Dub, even killed right now. I need eight and two and nothing less, bro. <laughs> at least get to five hundred, bro. Can I'm we get five hundred? <laughs> Can we get to five hundred, bro? They allergic to it. It's evident. <laughs> the Chicago Bulls are allergic to five hundred. How long we've we been playing this five hundred stuff? Since well, Lonzo Ball months. went down. Yeah. Since Lonzo yeah. Ball went down yeah. last season. Oh, the Bulls are close to being 500. No, didn't happen. This season, the Bulls are close to 500. Didn't happen. <laughs> Losing streak. Same story, bro. <laughs> Every time, bro. You get a good win. I think that was against Indiana. You pump. Like, Indiana been busting our ass all season. You in the next game against the, the what, I think it was the, the Rockets. It's a winnable game. The Rockets are on the streak, but you could definitely win that game. Uh, he just lay an egg, bro. And then you follow it up with two Celtics. You guys played okay, but I think the Celtics was just better than you. But then you come into Washington, let Washington come in here and ugh, in front of us, in front of the crowd, in front of Chicago, bro. That's nasty, bro. Y'all the laughing stock of the NBA right now, bro. Bro, Jordan I ain't Poole. even want to. Bro, I was gonna say Jordan. I ain't even, I ain't even waste time listening to press conferences. I want to hear that. Want to hear that? Steady hearing that shit, bro. That's lip service. Ain't nobody that's talking. We want to see action out there on the court, bro. Facts. Show me that you ain't ready for the offseason without telling me. <laughs> Look at the Chicago Bulls. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't this feel it, Fee? Like, deja vu? Haven't we felt this way? Oh, Same. we felt this way last season. Oh, we felt this way the season before that. It's getting old. It's getting real old, bro. It's getting old.
Whoever's sure. listening, whoever got the power to change this, we know who they are. This shit getting old. It definitely you know. getting old. And I don't want to hear no excuses. C Dub. Now I want to take a deeper dive into a specific player. Mm. Mm. We haven't really went at this player. Nope. But we know at the start of the season, this particular player had a lot to say. Nick Olavusovic. Oh, this could be our last dance. Oh, we know we need to do this. Oh, the body language. Oh, the spiciness. Oh, the e extracurricular activity that, that we've been seeing from Nick Olavusovic. Nick Olavusovic, this is for you and for you only. Your ass is trash. Mm. You have regressed in such a way, bro. I don't even understand it. I know some box score watchers is going to say, well, Nick Olavusovic versus the Washington Wizards has 16 rebounds. He's supposed to. Yeah, he's supposed to, bro. What? But you took five shots. You let a guy named Rashawn Holmes. Yes, we learned it last night or the other <laughs> night. Rashawn Holmes. Front and center. What about the night you got cooked by Jock Landale? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> what about the 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 game against the Celtics? You got cooked by Luke Cornett. Who what? And old man Al Horford dropped twenty three on your head. Not uh, Uncle Al. Not Uncle Al, bro. And you only had two rebounds that game, big dog. Two is crazy. Two is crazy. C Dub, go ahead, bro. Hey, bro. Uh, Nick Vooch, you, I, <coughs> but I tell y'all in the beginning of the season, we was having these talks and who was the one stepping up front and center? It was Nick Vooch trying to be the leader of this team. Now, if you pick on that role of being a, uh, a leader of a basketball team, we expect you to, to, to lead by um, motivation, the way you was trying to do early in the comments and some of these editorials you was dropping. And we also want you to lead by action. And now, as we to judge you by what you was coming out of your mouth, we'll give you an A. But if we was to judge you by your action, you'd be getting an F minus for this season. And you can look at the numbers, and he's right on par with his uh with his career career totals, except the three point arc, where you shooting abysmal twenty eight percent from three, and you're taking too many of them. But if you look at the rest of the numbers, this is on par with his career averages. Uh, 17 points per game. This is career average, 48, 49% from the field and 34% from three-point range with 10.5. We just go ahead and give him 11 rebounds per game for his career average. On the season, same minutes, like three more minutes this season at 34 minutes, 18 points per game, 48% from the field, but 28% from three-point range. You're taking too many of them. It's the same. But what's different? What's missing then if he's playing you know, worse? Or this is one of his worst seasons as a pro. Effort. Effort. The will to do it. And 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 where would you get this uh, answer, Chuck? Where would you get it from, C-Dub? Last two games. How you going to average 11 rebounds and you only give me two rebounds? I don't care who out there. It could be Ben Wallace and, and Will Chamberlain. You can get more than two rebounds. You vooch. You're a basketball player. That's what you do, rebound the basketball. When you think about last game, five shots? <clears throat> if they ain't not even passing the ball, why you ain't on the sidelines like, bro, I only got three shots, I only got four shots, I only got five shots? What? Is you is you kidding me, bro? What's up with your defense and and even trying to rotate, ro rotate out there? You had three blocks last game. You had two the last the game before that. But what about the other things? What about rotating on defense, not giving up easy buckets, not getting blown past on the perimeter? Nick Vooch, your effort and will to play basketball has been atrocious this year. The numbers look the same from your career, but your effort and will to play has been <clears throat> ass this entire year. Absolutely been trash. Absolutely been trash. And I think that needs to be a real conversation for Nikola Vucevic and where his place is for this Chicago Bulls team. Me personally, if he's looking to go ahead and push and remain on his team, your ass riding the bench. I mm. need a younger athletic big. Yep. We just had Pat the designer a couple weeks ago. He said, look, we know what Nikola Vucevic is going to give us as a European big. He's going to give us the offense. But damn, you can't give me no effort. 
I don't think Nicola. I don't think J the Joker is uh, uh, an amazing defender. But when the money is on the table, he defending. Yep. That's yep. all I'm saying. Oh, obviously, it's two different calibers of players. Obviously. But if fucking Al Horford, Al Horford, who's <laughs> older than Nikola Vucevic, I believe, yeah, can show you defensive effort, you can't do the same, bro. You both of y'all look slow as shit. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, it's just Vucic ridiculous, slower. bro. And the crazy thing is, bro, I'm a, I stand on what I said. If he's to remain in Chicago Bulls, you need to find a replacement, a younger, athletic, bigger. Rip, probably not even bigger because he big as hell. Uh, a younger, more athletic big. There will be some deficiencies, deficiencies offensively, but the defensive effort, the lob threat that that young big could be, will give a, the Bulls another dynamic. Bro, I knew Nick Olavusevich was gonna have a bad game when he caught the ball in the middle of the paint and had a little ass G League guy on him. And did a little bunny and he bricked it short. Bricked it crazy as hell. Short. Bro. Oh my God. At the and it was time. like literally wide open. Yes. Yes. Enough is enough. Bench him or get rid of him. I'm it is is nothing Ugh. he could say to do anything for us no more. Yeah, get out of the door. I think it's time for a, a change of the template, nephew. You, you got to change something, bro. We seen this template. When you look at DeMar DeRozan, he's there to, to close the games for us. Is it time to change that template? Is it Nick Vooch? We need an offensive big anymore with nice <coughs> footwork in the paint. Is it time to change that template? I think it's time to change something, bro. Something got to give. And I something think DeMar DeRozan give. is here to say. Is here to stay. A little like Vooch, bro. Get us an athletic big here and see if it's if it helps the Bulls. Even if he he on contract, he come off the bench and still score like 18 points, bro. Start Andre oh, Drummond. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. I think something definitely needs to change. Like I said, DeMar DeRozan is the only constant bull that's trying to keep at least fighting battle. You know what I'm saying? I got to respect it. Yep. But I'm with you, though. You definitely got to – you really have to come to this table and consider changing this. this like, what else can you do? Bro, you the Bulls really? made a mistake re-signing Nikola Vucevic. Mm. They did. That far? I'm Not going it. that far. They made a huge okay. mistake. I thought initially that the deal was fair. It was cool. Nah. Huge mistake. He huge mistake. He had a decent season last season. I could see why they – But guess you know what, what you saying? said, though? He got it was a, a contract year. Yeah, you your, your exact words, nephew. It's a contract year. You sure about this? Yeah, yeah. Vuji, I think his game is gonna be good. Nah, yes. <laughs> contract. They play and get that bag, bro. That's what I'd be worried about, bro. I'd be worried about that. Well, man, it, it is what it is at this point. What well, we got? Ten games left. Ten games left. We'll see what they do. <laughs> do you really think Vuji will probably come and have a good game against the Pacers? I think they play tomorrow. Mm. Or later on today, so you know how they go. You know they some if those guys play basketball professionally, they know who's playing good or who's not, or who's playing up to potential. I will hope that somebody in that locker room. The Bulls didn't let all opportunity slip within their hands, bro. Before we go, yeah. the Bulls let all opportunity slip with the slip between their hands, bro. If you go out of here and at least try to get to five hundred, now this pace of game. Changes everything for you and your and 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 potentially moving up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Moving, creeping up. If you take care of business these last few games, you could have been potentially creeping up. You know what I'm saying? And potentially been an AC. Now you only got to win one game and you win. Yeah. But hey, yeah. that's what it is. This is who we dealing with. Yeah, bro. This this is, this is a sad ass game last night against. It's the Washington uh, G Leaguers, bro. That was a new low. I think they can never. Every time they kill us, every they every time they stab us with a blade in the heart, bro, they do something worse. Just wait. Just wait for the Chicago Bulls to go to a new, new low. They will do it. They will do it. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it from us today. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, man. It's tough times around here, but we're going to keep on pushing. 
We on hopefully the better things. Catch y'all on the next one for sure. Come on, yeah.